Good evening, youth and youth, and good evening to all my friends and my subscribers in YouTube. This is Big Stone giving you his personal message for the year 2012. First of all, we have to give thanks to the Almighty for carrying us through tremendous times. Give thanks for making us, all of us, came through the roughness of a recession. We can now look at a new beginning and a new year. Most of the time I speak on YouTube, I speak to celebrities or even the common person who just happen to be there. But now I'm talking to you. You're going to be the person that I'm going to be interviewing today. But before we get into the in-depth of the interview, I just want to take this opportunity and big up Mrs. Portia Simpson Miller for her dynamic win in her last past previous election. Mrs. Miller, all of Jamaica see you as Muma Portia. All of Jamaica now love you because the people of Jamaica have spoken. You have now won your own mandate. And it's different. A lot of people don't know how beautiful this prime ministership is and how you won was the fact that based on an election of your peers within your circle, he was elected to be the prime minister all the members of your peers. But this election, Mama Portia, was different. This election you went out, this election you gave your heart, your soul, your mind to the people. And the people believe you and they vote for you tremendously. I am, as a Jamaican, pledged to give you my whole heart support. And I know all of Jamaica pledged to give you their whole heart support so we can make our country Jamaica so beautiful, so better, so sweeter, so nicer, so all the world can come to our place and enjoy. Jamaica, we're celebrating this year, the year 2012, our 50th years of anniversary freedom from the British government in terms of our independence. Jamaicans, this is our country. But you can also say this is my country because each Jamaican own a little piece of this rock. If you look at your country and you say, I love this country, you will make sure that you keep it clean, that you keep it nice, to keep it wonderful and most of all you keep it sweet and airy so that a lot of people can keep coming here. I personally as a United States permanent resident older up until about maybe three years ago I took the decision to come home to my country to be of service to the youths of my country to pledge all my support to help to make sure that our youth start to looking carefully at how they live in, go to school, try and get a good education, no matter what. Try to do something great with your life. And that is my pledge and that is what I have been doing. And I voluntarily walk away from the United States of America back to my own sweet home. And today, to be honest with you, I might not be making a whole lot of money right now, which I'm not. But guess what? I'm happy. I'm contented. I'm free. I'm special. <laughs> and I'm nice. And I only hope that all other Jamaicans out there see their little piece of the rock, our beautiful island, as precious as I say it, and come back a yard. Come home. Jamaica, 50 years. It's a lot of years because I'm 54 right now. It's a beautiful experience for me to be here, to be in my own country, to have my own prime minister, my own leader of the opposition, all people that are truly Jamaican. 
comfort me. I feel great and I feel good and I'm proud to be Jamaican. And because I'm so proud to be Jamaican, I want all of you to be proud too to be Jamaican because our country is the Garden of Eden. This is where the Almighty says the Garden of Eden lies. You all might be skeptical and some of you might ridicule and say, uh, he's going crazy, don't you see? He's knotting up his hair. But the right Honorable Marcus Mazai Garvey says, we must not remove the kinks from our hair, but remove the kinks from our mind and our brain. And to make sure that we walk upright because our ancestors are kings and queens of Africa in which indeed I am proud so this is my new year's message to all of you loving one another some more love your neighbors some more love your visitors that come to this beautiful country because when a visitor comes to Jamaica he has the option of going elsewhere wherever his money wants to take him or her or that group. They can go anywhere else they want. But guess what? They choose our beautiful country, Jamaica. Jamaica nice, you know. Jamaica sweet, you know. Jamaica the best, you know. Big Stone says so, with no apology. Ciao!